Learn Application Development Using .NET Core. In this topic, I'm going to implement search functionality in ASP.NET MVC Core application. If you are following along the series, you can continue from the previous topic. Or if you are new to this, you can still watch it because the concept is same. Welcome to Clouds Training. This is Divakar. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thanks a lot. If you haven't subscribed, please request you to subscribe for more updates and training programs. I have opened the solution and run the application to quickly recap on what we have implemented so far. We have a page with complete CRUD operations and a sorting is introduced in our previous topic. In this topic, we're going to introduce search here. Open CSHTML file where you want to introduce the search functionality. This is the page which corresponds to index.cshtml. So I want to introduce search functionality in this page. For that, I'm going to add input box here, something like this, and a button. When you enter a search term and click on this button, it is going to filter the results in this box and another option to clear the search results. I'm going to add some HTML here. It is a form tag with action as index and method is get. Since it is the page from contents controller, it is going to trigger index action here. And this is a get index action. In this form tag, I'm going to quickly add some HTML for input box and the button, search, to search button and another action to clear the search. And this div and paragraph tag are for making the UI look much better. Here we can see that for the input box value is view data of search term. We're going to see how we're going to make use of this view data search term in our contents controller class in a moment. And the sec second input box is of type submit and the value is search. Run the application. And click on contents. We can see the input box and the button. Introducing search functionality to this is fairly simple. We just need to add an extra variable here, search string. And remember, we have created a view data of search term. So always we need to store that value in view data search term. Once we have this, we can introduce aware conditions to the link queue statement here. First, we need to check if this value is null or empty. If it is not, we are going to introduce a WHERE clause, which will check if the title contains this search term. Here, whatever we are passing here, it is going to check if it contains, it is going to filter the results. That's it. We are done with the code. Now hit Ctrl F5. To run the application and then go to contents since our search is based on title enter something from title hit search we can see that it is filtering the results click on clear search it will display full list of results the search functionality here is working fine but however it has introduced a new bug which i will show you in a moment when we search with the term SEO, there is only one record, so we could see only one record. But when we scroll down, here we can see implement paging, implement search, and implement sorting. We have three rows with the term implement. So enter this term and search. So we have three results. When we click on title, notice it is actually clearing the search. So we need to fix this issue. 
In the next topic, we are going to introduce paging and also fix this issue. If you have time, please join me in the next topic.